As promised, we're devoting the morning to previews of the new season. Anna Werner starts us off with a look at what's new in art. In the land of Paul Bunyan, Babe the Big Blue Ox is king. But step aside, Babe. In Minneapolis, this giant sculpture now commands all the attention. It's like a general on a horseback. Instead of a general on a horseback, you have this... Um, Chicken. Rooster, right? A Rooster. cockerel. <laughs> a cockerel. <laughs> this big bird anchors the renovated sculpture garden at the Walker Art Center, where museum director Olga Viso led the year-long $10 million project that features 49 sculptures in provocative shapes and sizes. Do you find that having the sculpture garden pulls visitors into the museum, a museum they might not have otherwise visited? Yeah, exactly. It makes the museum more accessible, more human, more approachable. Works by some recognizable names fill the 19-acre space. Roy Lichtenstein, Robert Indiana, Alexander Calder, and the museum seeded some new works on the grounds here as well, commissioning installations by artists including Neri Bagramian, Mark Manders, and Theaster Gates, pieces that welcome visitors in for a stroll. One work visitors won't see here, the sculpture Scaffold, a piece representing historic executions sanctioned by the U.S. government, including the hangings of 38 Dakotas at the end of the tribe's war with the United States in 1862. Native American leaders protested the sculpture's inclusion, leading to the museum's decision to remove it. Is that caving to public pressure because you're worried about bad publicity? No, I think it's being responsive to the Dakota community here and what it represented. That hasn't stopped visitors from streaming in by the thousands. And this isn't the only museum sure to attract crowds this fall. For example, take Ohio, where the Cleveland Museum of Art is one of several around the country, marking the centennial of Auguste Rodin's death with showcases of the master sculptor's work. On the East Coast, Michelangelo stars in an exhibit at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. And Johannes Vermeer comes to the National Gallery in Washington, D.C. Perhaps the most anticipated show this fall is Yoyoi Kusama's Infinity Mirrors, which travels to the Broad in Los Angeles after record-breaking shows in both D.C. and Seattle. But back in Minneapolis... The piece really stands out, yeah. Art is big, and sometimes blue, and definitely something to crow about.